Okay, guys, so as promised, I am going to make myself a little journal to take with me to Australia. Um, I'm just going to whip it up now. And I'm just going to use this cover. It's from 19... No, it's from the... Well, it might be from the 1800s. I can't think. It might have been from the 1900s, early 1900s. I don't have the pages anymore. But I love the cover. I might make myself some sort of slow stitch piece to put on there because that's what I like to do. And um, I'm now going to gather together some pages to put in it. I actually haven't pulled anything out. I know I've got some somewhere. I know. I've got some digital pages printed here. I just want to see if there's anything that sort of inspires me to put in here. I've got a whole lot of stuff in here. Let's have a look. It needs to be sorted a little bit. Just put those there. Oh, these are the gluing pages. Shouldn't be in there. Um, oh, here's a couple of bits of what's it called? Oh my goodness. You know what I mean. The um, carta paglia, straw paper. There's a piece we can put in. Might tear that in half. Plain piece of paper. It's just the beginning of a, a book page. And... I'm pretty sure I had, I thought I had something. I'm pretty sure I had some um, of my digital, here we go. Let's find them. I've got some of Sharon's here that I never used either. I never got to that project. Use that one. And I've got, oh, that's a piece of um, newsprint. I might use one of those. Put that on the reverse side. I mean, my my, it, I'm I'm you know I'm going to stray, but it doesn't really have to have a theme or anything like that. I can just really use what takes my fancy. I've got some plain. They're not double sided. I'm just looking for double sided. Here's a few pages, and I think I've got some bigger ones as well. But I would have to tear them down. So let's just pull them all out. So that way I don't have to go and print any more pages i knew i had some double-sided ones here somewhere um i'm sort of jumping the gun a bit really looking at pages before i even i put that in got nothing to do with australia none whatsoever do i care no um oh these do though i can do a bit of decorating here we go oh i love these reminds me of picnic at hanging rock love that so yes oh what fun Oh, what fun is to be had. It's from my Australiana kit. Christmas. I found some Christmas in there. That'll have to be put away somewhere else. So this is the gorgeous box that my sister gifted me. And I just put all these random pieces of paper in here that didn't have a home. So this is what we're going to play with. I might pull out other things as well. Some more plain papers. I've got my hinged papers as well. I found those. Isn't that lovely? Um, I found those and so let's have a little look and get a feel for it. Then I'm going to put some fabric there and I'm going to have fabric over the spine so I can just stitch right into that. It's not a stiff spine. So I'm going to put, aren't they lovely? I love them. Oh, I'm so excited now. So that's these are all these can all be pages. I probably won't choose the Renaissance pages. Um, I don't normally do this first, like choose my pages first, but I feel like doing that today because all I have to do really is stick my fabric on there. But I want to, as I said, I want to have a feel for it, um, and then now I know that has white there. They're two pages together, um, but I will just cope with it uh, uh, yeah I don't I mean history museum hmm, nothing to do with Oz now I will have to tear them down further because my book is small but just to show you that you can I don't know whether I'll do one or two videos um, I'm going to get this done now because tomorrow Lisa's is coming and um, so 
I do need to get it completed. So I'm just going to tear the bottom off. Now it's decided to go a bit dark. I might turn the light on. I found that because Steffi's got overhead lights, like two that really are really bright overhead lights. They're great. Um, and then he has um, he has uh, these LED lights that are in strips along the length of the room. You might have known. I don't know if I showed those. I think I did show them um, in my craft room video. And, um, and so the ones that are the strips, they actually, because they run along the sides and they're not right over my head, um, they don't seem to cast a shadow on my table, which is really great because I, I didn't turn them on before. I like that. Um, I didn't turn them on before um, and I would bring my, my ring light over because I thought they would cast a shadow because the one over my head does. But that one, those ones don't. So I might hop up in a sec if you forgive me and put the light on because I think my phone is pretty bright for you guys. But it's um, it, like what I'm seeing is quite shadowy and dark. Not dark, dark, but dark enough that it bothers me. So I just fold these and then this one's going, this is about the correct height. So this can be my gauge. So I need to take a, a bit off the top and a bit off the bottom. And I'm just going to flip, I will lose a bit of the writing. I'm not really measuring exactly. I'm just eyeballing. Um, I want this page, it's a nice strong page. Is it cracking? Let's see if it's cracking. So if it cracks, no, it's not cracked. If it cracks, it'll just um, tear out. That's, that's quite a bit narrow. About how inches? About five and a quarter inches. Keep the bodgy edge at the top. I'm not going to need a lot of pages. I'm going to do probably do three. Um, I'll do three smallish signatures. I think. First of all, let's take off the extra height. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. It's an opportunity to do something with it. That's okay. And I probably could take a tiny bit more off. Okay, what else? I'll put those out. Maybe I only need... No, I'll put two. We're just eyeballing it. doing the railing outside because they seem to be drilling you know cutting metal sounds like that's a rag paper So this, yeah, that you. I mean, I watched a video today of someone, and she made these journals, and she was putting in a little paper pack, and she was saying that they were rag paper, and they really didn't look like rag paper to me. But 
um, you can tell when it really is. But anyway, each to their own. Um, I think possibly she was sold the pack being told that they were rag paper and they weren't. And then she was passing it on. Well, I don't think she realised. Um, but it was interesting to me. Unless there's a different type that I don't know, that I, can, that I haven't seen. My rag paper, you can tell. It's like really raggedy. It's got, well, this one doesn't have the rough edges, but it is. It's almost like, it's, it's, it's more than 100 GSM paper. And it's textured and rough and the the imprint is ray embossed um and you i mean sometimes it's really easy to tell the rag paper because it has the raggedy edges as well the really raggedy edges not just this one here that's sort of torn that's not rag paper and it's often quite hard to tear as you know, you've seen me try to tear it before. It's quite often quite hard to tear. So um, because it has the element of rag in it, you know, they, they put their um, old rags into the, you know, to recycle them into the fibers of the, of the paper. Um, what am I ripping off there? I think I might prefer to rip that bit off. Or maybe I'll fold it up. Um, and so that's why it's quite hard to tear it sometimes and it's and it's and then sometimes but sometimes the rag papers are quite damaged and other times they are uh, and, and a little bit fragile but not like you know the 1900s cracking paper nothing like that um, and then other times they're just really strong and they're stronger than the other papers these paper they're stronger than this that pa this paper here is stronger than this paper here from the 1900s okay so I'm going to use well I'm not going to use the really Italian ones because I'm going to Australia so I need to use more sort of botanical I think and then I mean this one's fine even though it's got antique things on it and they're the perfect size because I printed those ones small probably for another journal and then I've got these bigger ones so I'm going to have to I'm not going to use that one I'm not going to use that one These are all very Italian. I think they're, they're all Italian. I might have to go and print something out. Hmm. Oh, that one's all right. Okay, so let me see here. Put that there like that. As I said, I'm not making very big... Um, I'm not putting too many pages in, so I really don't need to have an exaggeration. And I might take a bit off the top. I might use my cutter. Make my life a bit easier for a minute and a bit off the bottom. I want it to line it up with my crease. And is that going to work? Yes, it is. Just, I might take a bit, little bit more off the bottom. Oh yes, I do have some botanicals here. So I'm gonna fold that one again, like so. I'm just the reason why I'm sort of not. Oh, I could trim off that top there. But then where, like, would I fold that over there? I could do that one actually. I'm just thinking about the folding. What am I going to see? Because the M is going to be folded in half. It doesn't matter. Oops. Maybe I could fold it all in. No. And 
and I'll take a bit, quite a bit off the top there. And a little bit off the bottom. Now I'm kind of just guessing where to um, fold it and take it off the top. And I did lose my border there, but oh, it doesn't matter. We'll do cut one more. Oh, that one's nice. We'll do these two. Okay, we'll do these two and then that'll be it. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty there? I don't want to lose the border off the bottom, so I'm going to, what am I going to, oh, I'm going to lose the flower. I have to do a little bit of both. I'm still going to lose too much of that. Okay, well, I'm losing the flower. You start to get a feel a little bit for for your size for the for the width like I folded that a bit small but anyway keep that okay so I put these away out of my way so I'm not looking at them I'm gonna put my light on because it's doing my head in just a sec craft with light so let's see what pages I might have too many I didn't put any hinged I've got a little here we go this one will be good we'll put that one in it's the right size and maybe that one I've got two hinged ones in there as well okay so let's put those aside put all the digitals to one side I haven't got too many book pages, they're digital. I might have to remove some stuff and they're plain. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide them into three. So I do three piles. I'll put Sharon's, Sharon Hearth one in the, at either end, and then I'll start doing these. Oh yes, that's all right. And then I've got extra there, but then I do have here this one, so that one can go in there. Okay, now let's do the plain pages in there. That one. Might have too many. That one. And that one. That one. And I'll put that one in the middle. Okay. Oh, no, it's not too many pages. Okay, so then I'm going to organize them and then I'll have a feel for how do I want my. Um, what fabric do I want to choose? Okay, so I might like to, I think I'll have this one first. And then I just start alternating them with all the different papers. And I always like, I don't know why, I just like to finish with a digital in the middle. So that's one. I think I would like to see that one next. This one I'm not going to finish with the digital because, OK, 
Okay, that's all right. Don't have to. It's going to go there. And then I have these. Oh, I think I might like to see that one. Yes. Okay, so there's my signatures. How quickly did they come together? And let's see how they sit in my book. Heaps of room. Heaps of room. Good. Okay. It's going to be a plain journal. I'm not going to go ahead and, and make lots of pockets or anything like that, I don't think. So this is what it's looking like. I'm just going to choose any kind of fabric, really. might just use this linen here. Um, I want to keep that, I think. Let's just cut this first. I need my other scissors. But I might like to put something here. So let's see in these images. I might like to, let's just tear this out. I was going to leave that, but I think I might like, do I want to put that there? Or do I want to put it? No, I think I'm going to put it there. Put that there with. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on first and then I can um, glue down my fabric. Okay, so that's going to go there, and I'm wondering now if I want something here. Like a lovely cockatoo. Two of my favourite birds, cockatoos and kookaburras. Absolutely love them and they all pay a visit whenever I, I go to Australia. I always see them and just simply, oh I think that's lovely. I love the colours. Yep, that's going to go there. Had I thought about it, I could have, I had some sort of plainer sort of pages that reminded me of the colours of Australia um, in that Australiana kit and I could have printed out some of those but you know, I didn't do it, so I won't. Now, the reason why I'm doing this before I put my fabric down is because it's going to go a little bit under the fabric. I love that. Okay, cool. So, let's grab our... I need my glue. I don't know where I put my spreader. Hmm. Where's it gone? Mm. 
Mm, I don't know where my spreader is. I'll just have to use my finger. Is it over here? No. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't accidentally throw it out. I don't know how I think I'm going to get the slow stitch piece done for this before I go, but anyway. It may have to go on afterwards. Let's spread it a little bit. Also because you don't want big blobby bits of glues. I mean, it will seep through the fabric a little bit because it's just a linen. Um, but it will help if I spread it. Okay. So it doesn't take that long to sort of construct your journal it's really the filling of the journal maybe you know if you want to put pockets in and stuff like that that all takes time it's a bit long here so i think i'll trim that Okay, well I have to let that dry, so I'm I will stitch in the um, I will stitch in the the pages. Well, I'll let it dry a minute. Um, I'm going to pull out some. What will I put? I don't have to do a slow stitch piece. I could just put a lovely piece of lace on there. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. I think I'll do a part two of this video, but these are going to be my pages. So let's just have a look. They're going to fit nicely, yes, and it's very light. Um, and then this is what it's going to look like. And I'll be able to write and add things in there. I've got an envelope there. And stick pictures in when I have them. Yeah, that's going to be good. I'm liking the, the, the pages. I may just take a little bit of paper um, to go with it, just so I can, you know, if I need to collage something a little bit just to, to write on there, um, that way I can do that, so I'll have a think about that. But anyway, I will be back with part two. I'll stitch in the, the pages off camera. It's just the three hole pamphlet stitch, and, um, and then just have a think about um, what I'm going to do on the spine. So I'll see you back for part two. Thank you for watching. Bye. So I'm back. I realized that the first part of my video wasn't that long, so we can fit in uh, decorating, doing the spine sort of thing. So the, I'll, we'll flip through in a minute. Let's just have a look. I've got, I don't think I have time for too much stitching. That was a leftover fabric pack. But I do have these lovely, um, pieces of old um, quilt. I have this too that I had done many years ago. It could be cute stitched onto there. Um, so I just wanted to have a look, not stitch, glued. I have these bits and pieces of quilt that could look really nice. I didn't want to cover all of that up, maybe just a little bit. I could put that there, but then that's on quilt. There might be too much quilt happening. So um, I also have this piece, although I might use that for something. That's something that mum gave me. I don't think that will stay on. I think that is divine. That would be beautiful on there. I don't know whether I could get it to stay because it needs to wrap around a bit further, but I really like that. Just leave the cover plain. I've got this, I was making it into a needle case. I could put that on there. It's a bit plain. I'd like to put that on 
now I could trim it down a little bit it's a little bit big it's got a little beard on there um, I like mums um, otherwise I have these but these would be lovely made into little journal sort of things so maybe I won't cut up those no okay so I did really like this one I could put that maybe not those oh maybe these colors let's just have a look oh itchy nose see that's nice I don't know about this okay just maybe trim it down a little bit further. It does really cover up. I think I would prefer that if I had a bit of lace. Let me see. Mm. You'd think it'd be easy to find lace here. Could just glue. Oh, now that's it. That is it. That's what I'm going to put on there. My favourite lace. Okay, and I'm going to just trim a tiny bit off there. I don't want to cut that because that's stitched on. Okay, good. So. Just do this and then we'll do a quick flip through and then it will be done. It's the fastest put together journal ever. Apart from the time it took me to stitch the things in, obviously off camera. It's not decorated or anything like that. I will need to put more. First I vaguely put it on and then we'll... Oh, I think that's so pretty. I've got way too much glue. Okay, now I want to put this on first and then maybe have the lace come over the top. Yeah, this was already, I had put it in a frame and so it's stiff on the back.
and then I put it in a little wrap it up in something to carry it around just lift that up putting it down there because I don't want to cover all those bits up that I really like Good. I'm going to leave that hanging down there. Not your usual journal cover. It's a bit thick there because it is a piece of quilt. That's okay. Give my hands a clean. So this is going to be my little Aussie journal for the trip. Love the back. And let me just close this. I've found a home for one of my favorite laces. And let's put all the things back on top of that so I can see what I have over here. I might take these things. Yeah, I'm gonna take these things with me. I'll rip them up. Okay, so I'll just open it up and oh, isn't that cute? I'm not going to lay it flat because it's still drying, but I just wanted to do a, that's one of Sharon's pages. I just want to do a quick little flip through just so you can see. I just put mostly botanical type pages in. I might choose a couple of washies and take those with me. I could just use my sister, ask my sister and use her stuff. I love that. There we go. Who knows if I'll use it or not. Lots of pages in there. Cool. Okay, so there we go. That was a whiz-bang little journal. Um, I'm going to let that dry, and that is going on my trip. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you again soon. Bye.